Welcome back to another weapon build video and today we have the Kuva Comb. This is a higher fire rate shotgun weapon. It starts off slow, then it goes faster as you keep firing the weapon. Alright, all you gotta do is just hold the fire button, okay? And then you'll keep firing. But this weapon is honestly I would definitely uh you know bring this or or get it and take it out, see how you like it. If you don't, you can always discard it, but, you know, try it out. I think it's not a bad weapon. Um, so we have a fire rate of 4.17, magazine of 209. It's got two second of reload. It's got a 1.5 punch through, which is pretty nice. And um, that's pretty much just it on top. For the primary, we got 19% critical chance. We got 2.3 uh, times the crit multiplier. Status is 90%. We got four in puncture. Slash is 12. Impact is four. Oh, that's a bit switch, okay. And then total damage of 20. For my bonus element, I have the key damage, okay. Um, I think I kind of probably want to change that because I don't think I need it at all. You know, I, yeah, I don't need it because I'm using, well, let's go ahead and look at the build. I'm using corrosive damage. So honestly, I don't need it, you know. And once you see how the damage is, you'll start to realize I don't really need the key, but I guess it's a pretty good add-on to my damage, but I don't think I really need it. Galvanize Hell, 110% multi-shot on kill, 30% multi-shot for 20 seconds, stacks up to four times. We got Galvanize Savvy, 80% status chance on kill, 40% direct, uh, direct damage per status type effect in the target for 20 seconds, stacks up to two times. So, great, uh, great Galvanize mods you definitely need on the build. It's going to help you out with damage a lot. Prime Cleanse Oroken. This is going to be damage to Oroken targets. I got Prime Charge Shell and Contagious Spread. All right. And, um, yeah, more uh, corrosive damage. So that will add on to the electricity and making that corrosive with the toxic. Prime Ravage, 110% critical damage. We have 200% 200, uh, critical chance and then decrease the fire rate with critical deceleration. And Vigilante Armament, 60% multi-shot. And then, you know, that's going to enhance some crit chance with the um, primary weapon. Or crit hits, actually. Rank 5 on the kill, 30% damage for 4 seconds, stacks up to 12 times. And then we have 30% reload speed. So, um, yeah, great mods we have in the build. Uh, if you want to take this off and, you know, downgrade it with blunderbuss then that's fine with me just what i prefer but you guys might prefer something different so but the damage is a heavy hitter as you can see heavy hitter okay now, like I said, um, you can go ahead and downgrade this. I don't think it would make it a huge... Well, eh, it took a bit out of the critical chance. That's what I had it on for. But, you know, with status in there, it's kind of like yes and no. You do need it and you don't. I kind of like how my critical chance was hitting with the critical deceleration, you know? It was doing us a big favor and, you know, taking them down with damage. Or, you know, doing damage. Now, putting this mod back on, we're going to use a Warframe that, you know, can increase fire rate. So, and I know Gauss can too. But I really love uh, Wisp. Yeah, I just love it more with the critical chance. That just adds on a huge, big favor to you. Yeah. <clears throat> and then especially when you have somebody that increased critical chance, uh, increased the fire rate. That just makes it even 10 times better. That was just, like, giving them hell right there. Okay. We just killed them all. Now, you can, if you want, to switch 
Ryan May Mercer out with the Deadhead, that actually makes it even better because you also get with Prime May Deadhead, you get some um, headshot multiplier, okay? And it decreases the weapon recoil, but I don't think that has it. So that is going to make the weapon even 10 times better in damage. With increased fire rate. Oh, that's just, you know, that's just going to make it a killer freaking weapon. So yeah, you know, this weapon is uh, really, really great. Really, really great. Now, if you use the carry prime with the sweeper prime laser rifle, burst laser, uh, sweeper prime, like I all said, you know, for that. <laughs> if you put on these three mods, you can increase critical chance for your primary weapon. really good damage man when taking this to the still path this is an amazing freaking weapon bro and you know realizing this is doesn't have a uh, bad reload speed this does not have bad reload speed uh without having primary mercy on so uh yeah so that in itself is good you know especially when you're in still path and you need a weapon that kind of reloads fast so you can get back to killing a lot of enemies that are popping out yeah this is a great weapon. This is a great shotgun to uh, use if you want to just take this out. I think it would be pretty good up against, um, you know, the Acolytes. Uh, it does, you know, a bit of critical chance. So, yeah, it's not bad. I don't think it would be too hard to you know, take them down. But, you know, but as far as that goes, not endurance-wise, yeah. Nah, I, I wouldn't do that. I, I would do it for a really... Hard hitting record weapon that just records crazy and does a lot of damage, you know, like 10 times more than what this thing is doing, okay? It's gotta be crazy, okay? Crazy. So, yeah, that's what I recommend. But, anyways, if you guys did enjoy the build, let me know in the comments below and hit that like button if you enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on all social medias. Links are in the description. Love you all, and I'm gonna see you in the next video.